Hello and welcome to Follow Me and Die. I'm your host, Larry Hamilton, and on this episode of Roll20 for the Absolute Beginner, we're going to talk about the new custom token marker sets. But before we begin, I want to talk about the ways that you can help support my channel. I have a Patreon that helps fund all my online efforts. I create YouTube videos, I have a podcast, I do role-playing game supplements on Drive-Thru RPG, I have a podcast and a blog, and I also sell t-shirts with my avatar by Satine Phoenix on my Teespring store. And all the links will be down below in the show notes. And you can also help out the channel by using my Amazon affiliate link. There's no extra cost to you, and I get just a little kickback from Amazon. I'd really appreciate it. So in just the last week or two, Roll20 has released a new feature called Custom Token Marker Sets. A custom token marker affects the token that is used to represent characters, NPCs, and monsters in Roll20. And the tokens are little icons that can indicate conditions such as slowed, slept, poisoned, etc. And you can either keep the default tokens or you can swap out default tokens and so I thought I'd touch on where it is you go to get at those tokens to change them and how you'd go about that. So here we are. Let's go to the page for the game and down below you can just barely see it down here custom token marker sets and you can scroll down and you can see default token markers. If you click on that you can actually take them out of that game or you can view them and so here's what they look like. Of course they're much smaller than that in the uh, Roll20 unless you zoom in really close but if you click on this you can select it or deselect it and you can actually copy it to another set and then there's uh, this plus sign that lets us search or we can create a new set. So let's click create a new set. That'll take us to our token marker library and we can get back to home. This tells us where we are. This is the default token markers so we can click on that to see those or we can go back to our token marker library and we can either click the plus sign here to create a new set or click this icon up here to create a new set. So let's just pick this one and we'll give it a name. Let's just call it test for now and create. And now it gives this add images to your new token marker set. And if we click add images, it tells us, unlike my last video where I talked about the image for your game, this actually tells us what the dimensions are. And whatever size you upload, it'll resize to this. So you might as well upload that size and uh, save you some memory and make it quicker since it doesn't have to do all that work. So you can either drag and drop or click the choose and navigate to a file. Uh, let's just choose this placeholder and that's been converted to a file and we can click upload it's processing okay and now you can call it what you want to call it click save and you're done that's all there is to it if you go back to the token marker library you now see that it's not an empty library that it's got one marker in it and it's got a date there's also a trash can where you can delete it you'll notice on this page you can't delete your token markers if you do want to def delete the default, you want to make sure you've got some replacements or you'll have no token markers in that particular game that you've deleted them from. You can't delete them from your account. You have to delete them from each individual game for which you're a game master. Now, the one thing you need to keep in mind is the names that it's got on these. You'll want to replace those names because the position that they fill is going to be 
uh, maintained so it doesn't break scripts. Those that do macros and custom scripting uh, want those to work the same. And so uh, you can actually download each of these and remake your own. You can find similar items out elsewhere on the web. Gameicons.net has a lot of icons that you can use. You may find that you like these colorful icons uh, or the different ones, beavers, fish, airplanes. So if you wanted to change it up for a more modern or science fiction game, you could do that. Uh, they have 3,768 free icons, so that's pretty handy. Um, and again, that's gameicons.net. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. And if we go back to our library on the test, I can delete that. And there you go. And I would imagine the limitation on how many sets you can have is going to be determined by how much space you have in your account. So a free account, you've got minimal space. The first tier of paid account, you've got more space and then the most space on a pro account so you can check that out just keep in mind you want to keep those under control and if you are not artistic and you don't know how to use a graphic program to create tokens uh, then you'll need to find a resource if we come back out here on home scroll down there's already somebody's got some token markers out here uh, so there's packs you can buy I have no idea about those uh, just uh, see there's a couple different ones out here so if you want to change your token icons you're able to do that 